Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Lynn Rule, and I am an author and illustrator of several books, including The Breaking News, which I will read to you today. It's from Roaring Brook Press. I also wrote and illustrated several other books, including um, Alley All Along, which is from Sterling. It's about really big feelings. And this book, which just came out a couple weeks ago, it's a really silly book with all nonsense words called NERP. It's about picky eaters. And I also wrote and illustrated these books. They're Lift the Flap board books from Simon & Schuster. This one's called Pet the Pets, and this one's called Farm the Farm. So with all of these books, I'm hoping to do some more read alouds in the next couple weeks. But for today, we're going to start with the breaking news. Um, because I've been getting a lot of requests recently from librarians and teachers asking for a breaking news read aloud. Um, to share with kids who have been stuck at home while their schools and libraries are closed. So this book is about a little girl who notices how the news has been affecting the grown-ups in her life. And she decides that she wants to try to do something to help make things better. So here we go. The Breaking News, written and illustrated by Sarah Lynn Rule. When we open the book, you can see the end papers, which are the pages that are um, glued down to the cover. You can see a whole bunch of children, they're mirrored on both sides. And how are they feeling? Not so good, right? Okay, so that's the, end that's the end papers in the beginning, and this is the title page. The Breaking News. I remember when we heard the bad news. So this image is a lot like the first one, right? But there are some things that are the same and some things that are different. So on the first page, the family is sitting, they're feeling pretty happy. They're repotting plants. The news is on in the background, but they're not really listening. Then all of a sudden, the breaking news comes on, and the grown-ups are feeling worried. And the little girl notices, and her brother notices how the pot got knocked over. Suddenly, mom is glued to the television. Dad can't stop checking his phone. They whisper, and I pretend not to hear is more than a little scary. Mom forgets to tuck me in. Dad is too tired for bedtime stories. Seems like everyone else feels it too. See, they're on a school bus. She can see how her friends are reacting. At school, my teacher says to look for the helpers. Even when the news is bad, you can still find good people trying to make things better in big and small ways. I want to help in a big way. I decide to put on the funniest show ever to make everyone laugh again. But the grown-ups don't feel like laughing. Where are the grown-ups looking? Are they looking at the funniest show ever? <clears throat> I tell them about the force fields I'll invent to keep us all safe. But their smiles are tiny and sad. You can see this force field. It's for Dad, Mom, me, Ollie, and Bella. And there's another force field around Grandma's house and school. I try to be on my best behavior all the time to be so, so good, but they hardly even notice. I think maybe there is nothing I can do to help in a big way. I feel small. So maybe I can try to do just one small thing? I 
and maybe another and another and one more so opening the curtain small things don't solve everything the bad news is still there after all but then again So, are, we. You can see the whole families together. They're putting plants in their window boxes along their fence and they're potting other flowers to share with their neighbors. And that's the one small thing that she's figured out that she can do to help people. And then at the end of the story, I dedicated this story to my mom and to my dad. And these are the end papers at the end. You can see it's the same kids from the beginning. Flip to the beginning. But they're feeling pretty different now, right? They're sharing things to do. Oh, and here's the back of the book. You can see the flowers. Here we go. The breaking news. So thank you so much for listening to my read aloud. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm hoping to get a couple more videos up um, of my other books in the next few weeks. But in the meantime, you can go to ruler.com, which is my website. That's R-E-U-L-E-R.com. And if you go to the book section and you navigate to the breaking news, you'll find that there's an activity sheet. There's also some guidelines from the Anti-Defamation League for um, grown-ups to talk to their kids about the news. Um, and you'll find this activity sheet. And if you don't have a printer, you can print this out. But if you don't have a printer, then you can just draw some bare stems. And over here it says, what will you grow? So um, what you can do is you can help add some leaves and flowers to this plant. And... If you want, you can write on each leaf or flower or have a grown-up help you write one small thing that you like to do to help make things better. Because I know that you do a lot of things to help make things better around the people that you love. So here are some great examples from students at a school in Reading, Massachusetts that I visited recently. They came up with some really creative examples. And grown-ups, I would love to see what your students create, what your children create. So if you'd like to, um, take a picture of what your students have worked on, um, and um, you can tag me on Twitter at Sarah Lynn Rule or on Instagram at The Rule, and um, you could also hashtag it with the Breaking News book, so I'd love to see what you come up with. So thanks so much again. Hope you have a great day, and um, I hope to see you soon.